you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you make me feel only 20 pounds overweight. Oh, look at his beard. He's, he's got quite a beard. He looks like an out of shape Civil War general. My dearest Peggy, it has been a fortnight since I've had a salad. I love my beard. You grow a beard and strangers are fascinated. I have strangers come to me, hey, why'd you grow your beard out? I joined Al Qaeda. <laughs> Don't even joke around about that. But you can ask about facial hair, right? You can't be like, hey, how long you had the man boobs? Are they natural? Now you're looking at my man boobs. To me, they're beautiful. When do I get a Dove commercial? I'm talking about the Dove ice cream bar, which barely cleans your body and is less racist. Thank you for coming out. It is great to be here. Thank you so much. It is. It's been a crazy year for me. Crazy year. I don't know if you know, in April, it was discovered my wife had a brain tumor. I'm not even making this up. It was removed. She's great. Everything's good. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't remove it. I, I was in the other room soiling myself, but... The tumor is gone, along with my ability to ever win another argument. <laughs> it's not like I was winning a lot before, but now I'm retired. <laughs> and luckily, my wife's not the type to bring it up. Well, once she did, she was like, you know, I did have brain surgery. And I couldn't be like, yeah, that was like a month ago. <laughs> it's time to move on, you know? What about my seasonal allergies? <laughs> We all have our cross to bear. <laughs> it was crazy. You know, the, the surgeon told me the tumor was the size of a pear, which is scary, but also confusing. I was like, did he go to med school or a farmer's market? <laughs> but tumors are often compared to fruit. A pear, a lemon, a grapefruit. Interesting fact, worst tumor, grapefruit. Worst fruit, grapefruit. <laughs> When you think about it, a grapefruit looks more like a tumor than a fruit. I almost feel sorry for grapefruit. Yeah, we can't win, yeah? We're already the worst fruit, and now we're compared to the worst tumor? Well, at least we help old people poop. That is the worst impression of a grapefruit ever. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate that there's another fruit that's much smaller named Grape. Because you know there's situations in doctor's offices, we found a tumor, it's the size of a grape. Thank God, I didn't finish. <laughs> Grapefruit. Oh, that's, that's very different. It was strange, you know, when, when the doctor told me the tumor was the size of a pear, I thought, wow, I guess doctors are bad at analogies. But I quickly realized they're just dumbing it down for idiots like me. Like the surgeon looked at me and thought, well, this guy's not gonna understand centimeters. I don't even wanna try and explain circumference. Based on appearance, he doesn't eat fruit, but... He's probably seen a pear when he's at the grocery store buying ice cream. I don't know why the surgeon sounds like Andy Rooney. You ever notice tumors look like fruit? By the way, if you don't know who Andy Rooney is, you're a child. And if you do know who Andy Rooney is, you should probably eat more grapefruit. Tumors compared to fruit, they're, they're sometimes they're compared to balls, like a golf ball or a softball. But the surgeon looked at me and thought, I'm gonna stick with food. I got a better shot of this fat ass understanding. I joke around, but it was scary. We have five children. And there were moments when I was like, oh my gosh, if anything happens to my wife, those five kids are gonna be put up for adoption. 
Some of these jokes are just for the fathers. <laughs> My wife was so amazingly strong and brave during this whole experience. For three months after the surgery, she couldn't eat solid foods. And our friends would send us the most delicious food she couldn't eat. So I found myself hiding the food and secretly eating it. It's like a whole new eating disorder for me. Am I supposed to feel shame? Because I'm helping my wife. Really, I'm a hero. She mostly ate jello. Jello, you know what they make jello out of? Bones and hooves. I always thought that was an urban legend. Bones and hooves. What kind of madman? Let me have the bones and hooves. I've got an idea for a kid's dessert. <laughs> It'll be huge. We'll get Cosby to do the commercials. <laughs> Everyone trusts him. Anyone using the eyeballs? I can make an abacus. I've got tons of ideas. That is so weird. It's all so uncomfortable. So you're really a surgical... Let me ask you a question. And all I want is... A yet. What is your first name again? Kim, okay, and all I want is a yes or a no from you because I always, we hear these stories at parties and I think they're bullshit and they're just hearsay, but all I want is a yes or a no from a real professional, Kim. We hear stories about people coming into an emergency room and they have a rectal exam and they find things in there that should not be in there. Kim, yes or no? Yes. yes. Okay, the floor is yours. <laughs> Before you say anything, is the lighting okay for you? Can you see Kim? <laughs> no, you don't, have to, you don't have to tell us the hospital, you don't have to tell us the name, but to hear it from a real professional, what was the object? What was the object? Gerbils. Gerbils, nobody had fucking gerbils in there. No, no, how does that happen? How do you get a gerbil in there? That's the last time I go to a pet store with no pants on. I was. I was leaning against the cage. There was three in there. Now there's only two. Where did the, where'd the gerbil go? Where did the, where's the gerbil? Where is the gerbil? How do you, medically, how do they remove that? I guess they just have the, the guy bend over and put some cheese on his nuts and wait. <laughs> that's, that's so weird. I don't know, like if I had a gerbil in my ass, I would die before I'd go see somebody with it. Because how do you go to the doctor's office? Can I speak to a doctor? Well, what's the problem? <laughs> Were you really there for this? How do you keep a professional face? And that's why you guys wear masks, so you don't... <clears throat> like, what does the person say? What, did you handle Did you see it firsthand? You did. So what do they say? What is, what is a person... Like, I wouldn't know what to say. Can, you, can I speak to the doctor? You go to the pet store, I'll, okay, I'll buy the gerbil. Do you want the habit trail? No, I'll take care of that myself. <laughs> Was it still alive? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was doing a comedy show, now I'm doing a remedial seminar for the animal planet. <laughs> Try to do a show, you got questions. Was it still alive? That's what you want to know? Does it matter to you? Does it matter? I hope it wasn't. I hope it wasn't alive. It was. It was still alive. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, oh. Such, a, such a cute story. <laughs> Did one of the nurses take it home? <laughs> why, why does my gerbil smell like shit? 